All right. I'm going to go ahead and preface this right now with the fact that I'm not a professional journalist or anything like that, so that's probably why I don't have many views on YouTube. Think of Alfred Hitchcock, think of The Twilight Zone, and then tell yourself, go fuck yourself, because we're not replacing those shows. Those shows have had their run in one way or another. We're talking about Tony Valenzuela and Black Box TV. Now, if you don't know what Black Box TV is, I'm sorry, you're in a very sad state right now. Because Black Box TV could invariably be the next, or rather, not even the next. It, it's, it's more like the evolutionary, the next evolutionary step in something like the Twilight Zone or something like Alfred Hitchcock's uh, works. It's twisted, it's dark, it's visceral. It makes you feel and think. And I think that's probably one of the best combinations you can have in anything, really. Because it taps into the, the, the dichotomy of the human mind. You know, the feeling side and then the thinking side, the logic side. And we don't have a whole lot of that going on right now. It's mostly just this either visceral thing or it's this thinking thing. And, you know, to have a combination of both, I think, takes, first of all, natural talent to be able to do something like that. Creativity, I feel, is when you can take an idea and it can manifest materialistically in one way or another, whether it's a, a video in some form or if it's a sculpture, if it's a painting or whatever it is. And hopefully it matches the idea that's in your head. Now, I know we all have a creative streak one way or another. I do, you do, but some of us are better able to take that idea and make it come to life. And it appears that Tony Valenzuela is, in fact, doing this with Black Box TV. The majority of the episodes, I think there are 14, are in some way or another horror-related or thriller-related. But in recent days, especially the last few weeks, he's shown us a different side of himself. Uh, he had a short uh, minute-and-a-half blog about how he wants to take the show and move it forward. He wants to, instead of uploading a video every two weeks, he wants to upload a video every week. But due to financial reasons, he's not able to do that right now. And I think that having a larger subscriber base would definitely help uh, him, him accomplish that. In addition to that, he also wants to expand the channel's focus. As I said, it's mostly, it's, it's so far centered around sort of a thriller slash horror genre. But what I, what has come to uh, pass in the last few weeks and most notably in the last day is two different ideas, or potentially even three. Uh, his most recent upload is neither one of those basic genres. It's more sci-fi with a hint of thriller, although the thriller aspect of it seems to, that seems to be the icing on the cake, as it were. That's what you're seeing when you first get into this, but then when you cut into that cake, you realize there's something very different under that icing. And I think it's a good transition into what he wants to do. You know, take what is known and slowly bleed away from it, or at least thin it out a little bit. And it was definitely an emotional experience. Uh, when I watched it, I thought, if he's going to be doing this, then, and if he's going to be doing the other thing, then I'm all for it. Every, 100 fucking percent. I am down on this, because it is, and he's only just started, it's magnificent. 
I'm not a very eloquent person, so unfortunately, I'm not really able to convey my thoughts and the feelings the way I'd really like to. But at least I want to try to get some word out one way or another. He had two ideas. One was in one video and another one was in this recent video. One was called Find Me. Now, I think you'd have to actually watch the trailer for that. Oh, shit. I think you'd actually have to watch the trailer for Find Me because I just cannot give it its due justice. But it seems like a clue situation, but you're like, try, it, it, the way it, okay, the way it played out and how I can remember is that it's almost as if you're like getting a phone call from somebody and they're saying, hey, I've been kidnapped or hey, I'm lost. Here are some clues. Come find me. But, and I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. It appears as if it's interactive via the viewer. How that plays out, I don't know. I, I know that there have been plenty of interactive games on YouTube and most of them have not been... They've been rather uh, abysmal for the most part, I and mean, they're okay. But I guess we're we're also dealing with something that isn't really uh, geared or otherwise uh, made for something of that nature. So, you know, as long as we're getting something that transitions and it allows us to, if YouTube continues to evolve, then YouTube will stick around. Now, the other idea is. It was brief, but it was definitely eye-catching, and it's called Dead Vlogs. Dead Vlogs, that's a really cool concept, just thinking about it. I mean, my mind is reeling, and I have no way of knowing how to express it. I mean, it could be anything. It could be, you know, the the vlog of a dead person in that, you know, it's it's a posthumous hearing. You know, they did they they recorded it while they were alive, or it's a vlog of a ghost of a spirit of someone who is in fact deceased. But it's like, hey, you know what? I'd like to go ahead and tell people what's going on in the afterlife. So I'll put up a vlog. You know, I actually really like that concept right there, and I think that might be where it's going too. And that may be what I was thinking initially when I saw it, but I was just a little surprised by it because. Just instinctually, I knew it was going to be a good idea. I knew it was a good idea. And because this is only, this is only, uh, oh, God, I think he said he's been uploading every two weeks or so. That means he's been uploading videos for about half a year. Now, I've been following Black Box TV since its inception. And in its earlier stages, I was, I wasn't really skeptical. I was more or less just distracted by other things. So I didn't have a whole lot of focus on it. But every time I see Black Box TV pop up in my subscription box, there's always mixed emotions. It's like, do I really want to watch it right now? Because sometimes I'm just not in the mood to watch Black Box TV. But every time I watch it, and, and, and I'm a skeptical person, right? I'll tell you right now, I don't like saying stuff like this, but every time I watch it, it's always awesome in one way or another. There have been a few mild instances, but overall, every single one of them has very good redeeming qualities. And I know I'm not talking to a whole lot of people, but I demand that you watch this show because you will not be disappointed. Now, a little aside to that, or addendum to that, you may not want to watch some of them because of the thematic elements behind it. There are some things that can be very unnerving for people, especially if you've dealt with trauma in your life, and if you haven't been able to overcome said trauma. Anybody who's been able to overcome a certain particular trauma, it's okay because your mind is settled and you now see what your trauma was, is for what it was. 
but if you are still dealing with your own personal traumas in life, whatever they may be, some of these episodes are a little too visceral for that. Uh, I'm not condoning censorship at all. I'm condoning viewer discretion. And it is, in fact, one of those channels where viewer discretion is advised because it will affect you one way or another. Have fun with that.